Manage expectations, it was called the Marshfield Male No Voice Choir. Uh, but I'd like to think that uh, we're moving on from the uh, inference of that title, and I hope that you'll agree with it. Um, this is in most part due to the commitment and the enthusiasm of our musical director, to whom we're entirely indebted. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll give you Laurel Pine. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much. Actually, he's fibbing. We want to keep the name No Voice Choir because people come up and go, oh, I can't sing, and I go, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to keep that name for the time being. But these gentlemen only sang for six weeks at a time for the for we have an, a big ball day and we have a big play, and they sang just once every three years, I think, each year. And then suddenly in September, some of them wanted to go on for a bit longer. And I said, well, only if I can choose the music and I can basically beat you up once you come here. And they said, yes. Yeah. So we are not a professional choir in terms of they get their notes repeatedly um, and sometimes we go out of tune and sometimes we make mistakes and for me and sometimes we've got growlers and singers and everything in between and that for me is perfectly acceptable on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, on Mondays and Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> so what, when we heard we were going to sing the mice thing, I'd already chosen the golden wheat as we call it, this side of the water and then Geraint said why don't we do the first verse in Welsh and I thought doesn't make any difference to me, let's try it. And we heard we're going to sing with the Maestri Choir, which I can't say the rest of. So we're going to try and sing the first verse in Welsh for you. And um, maybe you don't, but at least some of us, we are going to sing it in Welsh for you. Whether you recognise it or not, it's a bit Thank you. 
on Mount Zion with all the blessed people. When it roars, it moves like Elijah's car. Now you're as wise as we are. <laughs> I haven't gone from these gentlemen who most of them don't read, and some of them don't read music either. <laughs> from going from absolute unison, that was quite hard work. We're going to attempt this in five parts. Hold on to your chairs. <laughs> <coughs>
off with, um, it was film 87, 88, film 99, film 90, which with Barry Norman is, I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. Feel to be free. I wish I could break. 